convert zeros, some zeros to ones, so you reduce the number of zeros. Now, how many zeros should I convert to ones to get the right network? For example, you have 300 clients. You want to see what is the appropriate subnet mask for you to get a network to get a network appropriate for 300 clients and not 16 million addresses. So what you do here, you have to use our formula. Uh, let me bring the formula again. Here it is. Remember this formula? Let me copy this. 2 to the power of number of host bits is equal to number of hosts. So here, I put it here. 2 to the power of number of host bits is number of hosts. Now here, you have the number of hosts, right? You have 300. And you want to have a subnet mask that can cover, meaning you want to have that much of IP addresses that can cover these 300. So the amount of addresses that you will get should be equal or larger, a bit larger than 300. So a bit larger than 300, it means equal, larger or equal than 300. So my formula changes to this. If I want to find this part, meaning number of host bits, and I have the number of uh, hosts in a network, I will use this formula. 2 to the power of number of host bits is greater or equal to the number of hosts. So here, what should we put for number of host bits? If I write 2 to the power of 8, I will get 256 addresses. It is not larger than 300. If I put 9, 2 to the power of 9 will be 512, which is larger than 300. So result, I write it here, number of number number of host bits is 9 right here it is 9 so what does this mean it means num number of zeros in subnet subnet mask is 9 right because remember Number of zeros in subnet mass represent the number of host bits. So I found the number of host bits. So number of host bits means number of zeros in subnet mask. Now I need to have nine zeros in my subnet mask. So I need to count nine zeros. If you want to count nine zeros, you have to count from this side. So from here, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine here are i separate it here are nine zeros so i need nine zeros then what will i do i have to convert the rest to ones so here i will get let me change the color i'll get one two three four five six seven and here i change the color one two three four five six seven eight so here it is i don't want this one let me remove it and let me remove this one here is your new subnet mask you have converted all these zeros to ones now you've got nine zeros here so if i convert this to decimal i will get 255.255.254.0 look this is uh, this value is uh, this binary if you convert it to decimal it will be 254 so this is your subnet mask now if you use this subnet mask you will get 512 hosts in that network remember I'm gonna change this this is not the appropriate formula now uh, for formula later I'm gonna change it uh, okay so here is the subnet mask that I'm going to use. If I use this subnet mask, I will fi get 512 hosts in my network. 512 uh, 
300, 512 is something around 212 more addresses you will get. So now you're wasting 212 addresses compared to 16 million addresses. Uh, the difference is really significant and you don't have to pay that much for that and this much of extra network is extra IP addresses is fine because later you might need to expand your network so I'm not wasting any addresses so that's how you can use this subnet mask to reduce the number of uh, uh, IP addresses in your network now I have one question if I give you this subnet mask and if I ask you what is the number of host bits in this network, can you tell me what is that number? Yes, correct. You guessed it. It's 9. Number of host bits. Now, what is the number of network bits? It's 8, right? Those of you who said uh, 8 plus 8 plus 7, it's wrong. If you said 8, that is correct. Remember, number of network bits is always 8 for class A, uh, 16 for class B, and 24 for class C. It never changes. Of course, in case of supernetting, it changes, but we're not talking about that. For now, we say that number of network bits uh, in class A, class B, and class C is always constant. It's 8, 16, and 24. And it never changes. So number of host bits is this, and number of network bits is this. So if this is network bits and this is host bits, what are these ones here? These ones are the number of subnet bits. So let me write it here. These are the number of subnet bits now what does that mean number of subnet bits let's go back to the previous example of the cake that I just gave you now you went to the shop you bought your piece of cake and you came out on the way you're thinking with yourself that this guy gave me this much of cake now if he want to use this scale that he used how many more pieces of cake he will get? I say one, two, three. Ah, it's not really equal, but I imagine that is equal. So I say if he uses the same scale and he cut all the cake like that, he will get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slices of cakes. Then I count with myself. Okay, eight into 12. Oh, this guy is making profit. But the guy is not going to use this scale and uh, he's not going to cut the whole cake because next person who comes, he might need a bigger slice. So he's, he's going to give him a bigger slice. But if he uses this, slay, this scale, he will get this much of, uh, this much of uh, uh, slices of cake. Now, this is your scale, right? This is the sub cake, if I want to use the same term as a network. This is the sub cake that I got, right? This was the whole piece of, piece of cake, the, the whole uh, the whole cake, and I've just got a piece of that cake. I call it, I got a sub cake, right? Now here with my network, the whole network of 80 was 16 million had 16 million hosts. It was a very big network. I just got some part of this network. Uh, look, let me clear this. I've got just this much of this network. Imagine this is the whole network of AT, right? This is AT. I've got just this much of this network. Now, this is the subnet that I've got from that network. Now, if if with if I and uh, let me bring that subnet mask. This subnet mask was my scale, right? I used this subnet mask and I've got this much of this network. What was my subnet mask? Let me bring it here. It was... Let's put it here. Okay, so if I use this subnet mask, 
I will get this much of this network. Now, if the guy who sold that IP address to me, that the whole subnet address, subnet address to me, continues using this subnet mask, how many more subnets he will get in his network? That is defined by this number of subnet bits that we have. If I use this formula, uh, here it is, 2 to the power of number of subnet bits, I will get, uh, let me bring it here, I will get the number of subnets. Now, this is the number of subnet bits that you have here. 8 plus 7, 15. Now, if I write 2 to the power of 15, it gives me the number of subnets. Number of subnets means what? Means number of... Let me get my pen. Number of subnets that I can create under this network. How many subnets will I get? 2 to the power of 15. Meaning... Bring my calculator. 2 to the power of... 15. Uh, 32,768 networks I will get if I use this subnet mask. It means I bought this subnet mask, uh, this address with this subnet mask, so this much of network is mine. The next person, if he comes and he uses this subnet mask, he will get the same network here. And if the next person comes, he uses the same subnet mask, he will get another part similar to mine. So with this subnet mask, 32,768 different subnets can be created in just this AT network. That's how subnet masks work and number of subnet bits that represents the number of subnets that you will get in your network. But remember, this is what I get. The company, the ISP that sells this network addresses to me, he is not going to use the same subnet mask for everyone. I just got part of that. The next person, he might need more than uh, more IP addresses or less IP addresses compared to me. So the network address will be changed for him. So that is the concept of. Uh, subnet bits and network bits and host bits. Now, with that in mind, let's uh, go and uh, look at one example. Uh, here is my example. What is the appropriate subnet mask for a network with 400 hosts? Imagine that you have a company. In that company, we have 400 hosts and we're going to buy a network address. Now, we want to see what is an appropriate uh, subnet mask for us if we want to cover 400 hosts. Now, it doesn't matter what network, for example, class A, B, or uh, C, whatever it is. Uh, just now, I want to look at the appropriate subnet mask for me. So, to find this, you... Okay, let me get my pen larger again. I need something. To find this, I need to follow this formula. Uh, we have it here. No? 2, 2 to the power of number of host bits is number of hosts. So here, your number of hosts is 400. So copy this one your number of hosts is 400 right so you need to have to find the number of host bits that can give you that many of IP addresses that can cover 400 so this one should be greater or uh, where is my okay greater or equal than 400. So you have to follow this formula. 2 to the power of number of host bits should be larger than 400. 